Good afternoon everyone. I am Dr. Neetu Singh Yadav, DNB first year resident in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Civil Hospital Sanchkula. I will be presenting the spectrum of MRI findings in Joubert syndrome. The aim is to understand the spectrum of MRI findings in Joubert syndrome and the objective is to illustrate the findings in this case and to correlate the findings with clinical status of the patient. Joubert syndrome is a rare autosomal recessive disorder. It is also known as Wormian aplasia or molar tooth midbrain hindbrain malformation. The prevalence is approximately 1 in 1 lakh and when it is associated with anomalies in other organs like eyes, liver and kidneys it is called as Joubert syndrome and related disorder. This case was done in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Civil Hospital Panchkula with 1.5 Tesla MRI equipment. Informed consent and detailed history was recorded prior to imaging. The child was a 2 years old male and was referred by pediatrician for non-contrast MRI with the chief complaints of ataxia, inability to stand or walk and global developmental delay. The imaging findings included on axial T2-weighted image there was abnormal configuration of midbrain with elongated thickened and horizontally oriented superior cerebellar peduncles and a deepened interpeduncular fossa resulting in molar tooth sign. On axial and flare, on axial flare and axial titubated images, the fourth ventricles appeared enlarged and showed batwing configuration. On axial titubated imaging, Hyperplasia of cerebellar vermis was noted. Joubert syndrome affects the brainstem and cerebellum. There is a genesis or this genesis of the vermis of the cerebellum. The clinical presentation includes ataxia, nystagmus, developmental delay, hypotonia, episodic hyperapnea, and dysmorphic facies. The associations include retinal coloboma, retinal dystrophy, tongue protrusion, multicystic kidney disease, and polydactyly. These are the references of my case.